What's up, nation? Gotta watch Matt here. I'm at my room looking out the door here. I did have this video all set up and ready to go last week. Uh, then, uh, well, I, I'm starting to get ahead of myself. So last week, I got my PSA scores and they were very, very low, uh, which was pretty awesome. And my, um, my doc, he was asking me, hey, are you taking any medicine? It's like, no, although a particular broccoli extract I'm gonna talk about in a future video that I'm not gonna make like in two months, I hope to maybe do it this weekend. Um, I, uh, other than taking that, not doing anything like specifically with medicine. And so he was telling me that one of the reasons why that um, my PSA could have taken a dip down so low is because maybe the cancer moved to another place. He's not, wasn't sure about that, another place in my body. And I also had to take a CAT scan to check out my lymph nodes, uh, lymph nodes around the pelvis area. And uh, basically I took the CAT scan and the CAT scan, yay, lymph nodes were normal again because they started to swell a few months ago when my PSA started going up. And uh, then <laughs> there was, this is where I was like, oh, I have to change the, uh, I have to change the video. Uh, the CAT scan found an abnormality in my pelvis, in the pelvis bone. And so I'm gonna have to get a bone scan to go and take care of that. <laughs> well, you know, I, I, I shouldn't sit here being surprised or annoyed or anything like that. It's because I got cancer, man. It's going to be around for probably the rest of my life, if I'm lucky. But the cool thing about this is I don't care. I mean, seriously, I don't care. Whatever happens, that's going to be fine. And just in my mind, it's like, okay, God's just training me more, and that's about it. And because a, a few months ago, I wasn't free here and here, and I'm, I'm pointing at my heart, but now I am. I, I got my fighting spirit back, something I thought I lost. <laughs> and I have a good friend of mine to thank for it. I'm probably gonna be doing some jump cuts here um, just so I don't get too emotional when I'm talking about this. It's a girl that I started dating around uh, November and she gave me something to fight for. I was kinda, I, I really had a broken spirit when this first happened, even though I was all positive and optimistic. I was basically faking it until I made it. And even though um, she ended up wanting to back off on the romance, which I understand. I mean, uh, she she's dating a guy with stage 4 prostate cancer. You can't sit there and hold that against her. And she was getting too worried about things. And I don't blame her for that. And, but the cool thing is, she and I are like closer than ever, which is really cool. And even if things don't work out between us and we're still good friends, that's fine too. I mean, we're still having our date nights, um, but we're just not being romantic. Although we'll still like hold each other's hands and give each other a good night kiss and stuff like that, but other than that, it really doesn't matter. The fighting spirit I've always had, I've always prided myself with, it's back in me. So with all that I've been through, it doesn't matter what happens. I've already won. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay guys, that's it. Uh, if I, as, as you know, even with my regular viewers, if I continue to go on, I'm gonna be rambling like crazy. So that's about it guys. Just wanted to give you an update here. Getting all sensitive and stuff. All right, that's it. Love you guys. Catawatch Matt, sign off. See ya.